Hi everyone, my name is Nadia Steinzer. I'm talking to you from Woodstock, New York. Um, I'm the manager of Earthworks Community Empowerment Project, um, which uses a lot of different tools to expose and document uh, what the oil and gas industry is doing to harm people in the climate and to look forward to what we can change. These are really difficult times with the coronavirus sweeping through and shutting down our towns. I'm finding it really difficult to go into my small and usually vibrant town and see everything closed to know about all my my friends and acquaintances who are out of work um, and to feel that kind of tension um, and sadness among people. Um, it's a time of uncertainty about what the future holds and I'm worried about a lot of things these days, both close to home and far away. But in the meantime, uh, even though earthwork staff aren't able to patrol the oil and gas fields right now with our optical gas imaging cameras, which make the invisible pollution visible to everyone, um, we are still carefully following realities on the ground, um, reading and listening and talking to people, and we are sharing all of the information we already have, exposing and speaking out about the harms that the industry causes and how we need to shift away from fossil fuels. Oil and gas companies, of course, have lost no time in asking government to bail them out financially and to just look the other way when they pollute. Um, that's actually the industry status quo. Um, so the only real news here is their shameful exploitation of a public health crisis and economic uncertainty. Here at Earthworks, we really uh, believe and have believed for a long time that one of the paths forward has to be a saner energy system, particularly now um, and when the economy picks up again. And we have to do that for the sake of all living things. I'm thinking a lot about that um, these days. So we're going to do our part during this time um, to make sure that operators don't get a free ride at the expense of health and the climate. And when I started working on energy issues about 10 years ago and I joined Earthworks, uh, New Yorkers barely knew what fracking was. <laughs> Um, and then about five years ago, we got at the state level a prohibition on fracking because of the risks posed to health and the environment. But it wasn't actually until last week, in case you missed it, among all the other news, um, that New York officially banned fracking. Um, that good news was so welcome and such a relief, and it was truly inspiring. Um, it really showed that if people keep fighting and just keep persisting, over time change really does happen. And I was, as a New Yorker and as somebody who works on fracking, just really excited um, to, that that had happened. Um, so this is a truly historic time. Um, but like people have always done throughout history, and my parents always told me, um, we will pull together, people will always pull together and support each other and we'll always find our way forward. Um, and that's going to include toward a better energy future. Um, so take care everyone. Most of all, stay healthy and see you out there.